my gosh. Here we are. Mm. <laughs> I'm even shy, you guys. Oh my. Hi. 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 <laughs> I don't even know how to feel because I haven't done this in so long. But before we get into it, I need to go fix these. Like, look at how ghetto I look right now. My toes are even worse, so let me let me just go fix this, then I'll be back and we can we can properly get into this. <laughs> Three hours later. Guys, I am back and order has been restored. Finally, I look human, okay, okay. And I wanted to film this video with natural lighting, but my day just didn't go as planned, so we're gonna have to turn on the lights and get it going. But pretty young girl from Zambia, you know that she ain't with the drama. Light skin girl Osama, you know she the bomb, she cause trauma. Hey guys, welcome back to or welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Nyamba and I create YouTube content which you should subscribe to. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> guys, I'm using my suitcase as a tripod right now, so let's just hope things don't go south. <laughs> Ciao. It is good to be back, let me just say that. Even though my day today, like I said, just didn't go as planned, I'm so happy to be in front of the camera again. Like, this just feels so good. Okay, so I need to just stop faffing about and get into this video. <laughs> this wasn't like the first video I planned to have like coming back because I was meant to be back like, I wanna say, second or third week of january according to my initial plan but that did not happen simply because i was going through things <laughs> like simply put i was going through a mental breakdown like that's as simple as i can put it um yeah i don't even have talking points for this video like over the past few days just thinking about like when i'm gonna finally film and like come back i was just thinking about like what am i gonna say to them like what explanation am i gonna give how am i gonna explain everything like but <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like i've forgotten how to vlog you guys this is so embarrassing i should have asked you guys to ask me questions but i didn't want to do that because then it was gonna put pressure on me to film and then in the case i didn't feel like filming today then it was gonna be weird but hey anyway let me just let me just talk because that's what i do best yeah so at the end of every year since i've been doing this seriously i usually take like a week off at the end of the year like after doing vlogmas and stuff just to you know recuperate because vlogmas is age for hectic so yeah and then last year i think i took like two weeks off i want to say but then i still had content so like looked like i didn't take time off at all and then this time i was like yeah i'll take like two weeks off as well and then it just didn't <laughs> happen like it just turned into like over a month now it's been and i really wasn't sure when i was gonna come back because i wasn't gonna force myself to like half-ass content just for the sake of it which i've done before in terms of just like putting out content just for the sake of it but this time it's like ever since i started prioritizing my mental health and stuff i don't do that <laughs> okay like i just don't feel comfortable doing that and i just want to bring you guys like the best content i could possibly give to you at a given time where i'm like feeling like myself i'm feeling energized i'm not just like you know having to force myself to do things obviously there's times when you have to do that just because you know that like how do you explain it kind of like going for work type of thing even if you love your job you know 
like you know you have to go to work so you can get paid and <laughs> so you can feel better ultimately instead of wallowing in your sadness that's kind of how I felt like coming back now if this is making any sense at all basically like doing YouTube obviously it's a hobby but it's also a job right it's something I love doing I don't hate it whatsoever yes it is stressful but it's not the kind of stress where it's like I can't deal with it type of thing but I had to tell myself like you have to I had to force myself to get back into it because it's something I actually love doing and I knew it would make me feel better you know when I just like get back into it but for the period of time that I wasn't doing it I was just going through sh like that's how I could just put it I was just feeling super uninspired and obviously it's like winter time over here it's cold outside like half the time it's dark at least now it starts getting dark at like closer to 5 p.m. before it would be dark by like 3 p.m. and I was just like I have no motivation to do absolutely anything let alone film content like what content am I even gonna film when the sun goes down at freaking 2 p.m. <laughs> like I can always use a light but it's just I just wasn't in the best headspace in the best mood I just missed home but like I miss home every day <laughs> that's like a normal thing but it was the kind where it's like I know if I was home right now I would be living my best life and I would have all the zeal to create all the content in the world and like how I'm feeling right now is because I'm not home and like all these it was just like a cycle <laughs> of negative thoughts like every single day and yeah I don't know what else to say like I had so much stuff that I wanted to say I should have been writing it down each time a thought popped up but I just didn't and then today I was like should I have talking points I was like no I shouldn't just like just speak from the heart I guess <laughs> so that's what I'm doing but thank you guys so much for checking on me and so for those of you who did like oh literally last night i replied to someone's message like they sent a whole paragraph like oh my gosh we miss you so much this and that like i love you i like all this stuff and i was like you guys make my heart palpitate in like the best way possible because wow like i know you care but like the fact that you care care is just like oh my gosh i feel so special like i literally feel so special so thank you for checking in on me and all of that i just had to take time away i guess to kind of sort of recoup the recouping did happen in the two weeks like i said it would but after that it was me just going through shit, to say the least <laughs> ciao i don't know what, what i'm saying and i'm still gonna upload this because if i don't then i just won't film anything um But yeah, life is life gets hard sometimes. I wish I could come on here and tell you guys like like give you guys a marvelous testimony of how my life has changed in the past how many months have I been here? Four months. Like, oh my gosh, God is so good. Like, yes, God is good every day and all the time. But like, child, it's been hard. How'd you say that? And yeah i didn't want to come on here and put on a face making you guys think like i have the perfect life and this and that like I, it just didn't sit right with me <laughs> and some more positive news i guess i did start working like a part-time job a couple times a week so at least i'm just not like at home wallowing in my sadness every single day of every week yeah i have time to like not think about my life <laughs> and how pathetic it may be going or whatever but i it's so i was saying this recently how i sometimes feel so ungrateful because i'm probably living someone's like dream life but like that doesn't take away from the fact that i have emotions and i have feelings and i just sometimes like my will doesn't align with god's will and like that doesn't make me happy and it's just but yeah it's a new year and obviously like i wanted to bring you guys all those new year-esque videos vision boards goals resolutions yada yada but like it's kind of it's not late per se but <laughs> i just hope you guys have 
you know you've established your 2022 goals and stuff i'm super excited about this year even though it's still like not going according to my plan i did make a vision board like a digital one last year i recorded a video i think it was like a chit chat get ready with me where i said i wasn't going into 2021 with any goals and honestly it worked out for me it legit worked out so well because i went into that year not really expecting anything i should say but like the things that came out of it were so good and yeah i kind of liked it but then this year i was like okay let's go back to like basics i guess with like making a vision board and being like intentional about achieving certain things and that's what i did so yeah i've been really just like consistent with like my morning routine and all that and now that i'm kind of back i guess i'm back <laughs> To filming I'm super excited to just like get out as much you know content as I can as much good and quality content and yeah like the type of content's gonna change just a little bit I want to say I just want to go back to making more like sit down videos and what else wait i think i have this in my notes this part i i do my comeback video was meant to be like a channel meeting but then i had to include the life bit because well life happened <laughs> yeah i said i want to definitely do more sit down videos i want to do more fashion videos but then those are gonna have to wait till like the weather is better and stuff because i love fashion and i love dressing up and i love watching them and all of that like i love watching try on hauls and just like styling hauls and stuff like that so i'd like to create more fashion videos just like tap into that side of me because i know i do have some sort of a fashion sense <laughs> and i'd like to share that with you guys and yeah let's just get into like the channel meeting part of what this video was meant to be initially starting with my upload schedule we'll still continue having tembo tuesday okay till death do us part <laughs> period um but i wanted to start uploading more than once a week sometimes and i don't want to commit to every week uploading twice a week but whenever i will be uploading twice a week it will be on a friday evening so just keep that in mind and then moving on to my target audience i felt like i needed to address this just because i still have grown people judging what i post on my channel and it's so irritating because honestly you're not my target audience and i don't mean that in a rude way it just is what it is it's like i'll have people who are like my parents age talking about why is she doing this on her channel why is she talking about this on her channel why is she talking about that on her channel but like dude it's my channel and like it's my views my opinions my life if i want to talk about boys i would talk about boys if i want to talk about food i would talk about food if i want to talk about i don't know what i would <laughs> it's my channel for crying out loud and that's like part of the struggles of having like a zambian audience predominantly because like i don't know who watches my channel you know what i mean like my dad's friend could be watching my channel my mom's boss could be watching my channel and then they're like oh my god is this what your daughter's doing but it's like why are you watching my channel as a 56 year old i don't know <laughs> I feel like my channel is family friendly in that there's certain videos, especially like my vlogs, like anyone can watch. But then there's certain types of videos where it's just like, don't do that to yourself, you know? Even a video like my girl talk, you see what's in the, th in the thumbnail. Like, why are you clicking on it? And then you go start talking about, oh, your daughter's doing this, your daughter's doing that. Like, why did you click on it? You weren't the target audience. <laughs> it's just so funny to me but yeah obviously my channel it's a range i know young people watch my channel and older people watch my channel you have to discern what's gonna trigger you and what's not because i'm not about to deal with that kind of bs this year about no she's posting this she's posting that you're not the target audience so please don't watch there's this tweet i saw i don't know if it was a tweet actually or like i heard it somewhere in a podcast or something anyway i'll just say it was a tweet but it was like you're responsible for what 
you say and do you're not responsible for whether or not people freak out about it period if i come on here and say i have 10 boyfriends like that's my truth and how you receive that isn't my business really okay that just enough why that's an example not that it's true <laughs> and then moving on to just like my subscribers and stuff we ended the year on 25,200 and something subscribers which is amazing and yeah i feel so blessed thank you guys for clicking subscribe those of you who have and for those of you who are subscribed to me but don't have your notification bell on what are you doing boo boo like click the bell so that you're notified every time i upload even if your bell is on you might want to turn it off and put it back on because youtube's algorithm is so freaking weird and just the youtube app works so weird these days even if you have the bell on sometimes you don't get notified so just like kind of refresh it once in a while to those of you who are constantly saying oh you deserve more subscribers we should be growing more this and that okay well then share my videos mm -hmm. you watching this share my videos <laughs> don't keep them to yourself each time i say don't get to like this share this and subscribe i literally mean share it if 50 of you shared my video with like five other people do you know how many more subscribers we would have on this channel how much bigger than yum barbie would be it's a domino effect so yeah please share my stuff you don't have to literally send it to someone but like you can post it on your whatsapp status or on your instagram story tag me that you're watching and stuff like that you know I appreciate it so yeah <laughs> and then another thing is with Google Adsense those of you in Zambia if you're just watching regularly you don't see ads which means I don't make any money off of the views and if you're trying to support me and support my channel I would really appreciate it if you watch my videos using a VPN because your girl could use the coin pretty much I'm begging on that one I'm begging <laughs> so yeah please watch my videos with the vpn and not only my videos but like other zed creatives as well zed creatives youtubers you get the gist and finally like i said earlier i'm just really positive about this year even though it hasn't started according to how i thought it was gonna start a couple months ago i'm just still really optimistic and i'm taking intentional steps and actions into actualizing my dreams some of which i've had plans for for years now like yeah basically finally acting upon ideas that i've had for some time now and all i'm gonna say is that you better save your coins because you will have stuff to purchase for me at some point this year i don't know when we're still in the baby stages but i'm finally taking action because literally action is like the bridge between your dreams and reality like action needs to happen and for so long i just dream and dream and dream and don't take the action so like how do i expect it to become my reality you know that sort of thing so yeah i think that is it for this um return video <laughs> the next video might be a q and a i'm not sure but i would definitely post the sticker on my insta story so if you don't follow me there definitely do thank you guys so much for rocking with me for checking up on me and i appreciate you more than you'll ever know honestly you guys you guys are amazing <laughs> but yeah i will see you guys next time don't forget to like this share it and subscribe bye Oh my gosh, I did it. I did it. I did it, Joe. I did it. I did it. Freaking did it. <laughs>